I'm Jennifer Keysmat, Chief Planner of the City of Toronto, and we want to talk about plans to get you moving again. Toronto, aka Hogtown, Muddy York, the Big Smoke, now leads all North American municipalities in large scale development. We're big and we're getting bigger. We're over 6.5 million people in the GTA right now, with another 3 million projected to move in by 2036. Hello there! All of us together bring diversity, great food, more culture, lots of color, and bad congestion. Yes, congestion. Traffic jams, clogged sidewalks, mindless commutes, jam-packed subway systems. Congestion is more than a nuisance. It is more than a pain in the... It's a drain on our prosperity and our quality of life. You know, it wasn't always like this. At the beginning of the last century, we were called Toronto the Good, for good reason. We led the way on spending on infrastructure and transit, and we thought ahead. In 1918, we built the Bloor Viaduct with an undercarriage that could carry a future subway. We were planning 50 years ahead. We built 78 new streetcar lines in the early 1920s, and in 54, we became one of the smallest cities in the world to ever build a subway, which we expanded regularly until the 1980s. Then, a sweeping halt. Investment in transit virtually froze in the 1980s. That's pretty much a whole generation where our transportation investments didn't keep up with our city's population or economic growth. Traffic grew, access seemed to shrink, public transit was getting overwhelmed. For the past 30 years, we've been overburdening the transportation system of a generation ago. Now, we're all feeling congested. Now, this is a really big deal. Social and economic cost of congestion has been estimated at $6 billion annually. In 25 years, the cost will go again to $15 billion annually. That's from wasted fuel, carbon emissions, the slow movement of goods and deliveries and travel delays, all resulting in lost productivity. Traffic is a serious quality of life issue in the city. In 2010, the average trip to work was 33 minutes. Today, 27% of Toronto commuters spend more than 45 minutes traveling each way to work. That's nearly a work day a week just to get to and from work. Now, we're finally reinvesting in transit. Over $14 billion on projects like the Air Rail Link, the Union Station Revitalization, or the Spadina and Bloor Danforth Subway Extension, and 42 kilometers of light rail lines on Edlington, Finch, and Shepherd. Comparatively speaking, we're still feeling congested because we still have to overcome those decades where transit development didn't keep pace with our explosive growth. Working on a fix for this is going to benefit all of us. Drivers, transit users, cyclists, pedestrians, residents of this city, and importantly, businesses. It will help the city function better. It will boost our prosperity by ensuring Toronto remains a place where businesses want to invest. To remain competitive, to become a world-class city, we need to appeal to young, skilled workers who are demanding better transit and better streets for both walking and cycling. And when you look at examples from around the world, cities like LA, Washington DC, Madrid, Paris, they're all paying attention to what future generations want and are investing in what it takes to stay attractive and relevant in the 21st century. We need to make plans. We've done that. We need to think broadly. We're doing that. We need to make streets complete for everyone. We want that. We need a way to pay for it all. We're considering that, and you should too. Hear what we're proposing. Tell us what you think at feelingcongested.ca. Toronto is your city. Toronto is my city. Let's build it together.